the Afonopelma cow codes, commonly known as the Arizona blonde tarantula or the, the desert blonde tarantula, is a fascinating spider species native to the southwestern United States, particularly Arizona and parts of New Mexico and Mexico. Known for its characteristic golden blonde hairs and large size, this tarantula is a popular species both in the wild and among tarantula enthusiasts. But beyond its striking appearance, the behavior of Afonopelma calcodes reveals much about how it has adapted to thrive in harsh desert environments. This video explores the fascinating behavioral traits of this desert-dwelling tarantula, from its feeding and defense strategies to its reproduction and interaction with its environment. Afonopelma calcodes is primarily nocturnal, meaning it is most active at night. This behavior is an adaptation to the hot desert climate where daytime temperatures can become dangerously high. During the day, the tarantula retreats to its burrow, which serves as a refuge from the sun and predators. These spiders are skilled burrowers and typically create their homes in loose, sandy soils or beneath rocks and logs. Their burrows can be quite deep, sometimes reaching several feet underground, providing a cool and moist microenvironment to help the spider survive extreme desert heat and aridity. The burrow entrance is often lined with silk, which acts as a sensory extension, alerting the spider to vibrations of approaching prey or threats. As ambush predators, Afonopelma calcodes primarily feed on insects and other small arthropods such as crickets, grasshoppers, beetles, and sometimes small lizards or mice. At night, they venture out of their burrows to hunt. Using their keen sense of touch and vibration detection, they locate prey and then use their powerful fangs to inject venom, quickly immobilizing their catch. Despite their intimidating size and appearance, Afonopelma calcodes are patient hunters. They often wait near the entrance of their burrow or in nearby areas to ambush unsuspecting prey. After subduing the prey, the spider uses digestive enzymes to liquefy it before ingestion. But while generally non-aggressive, Afonopelma calcodes has a variety of defense strategies to protect itself from predators, which include birds, reptiles, and mammals. When threatened, the tarantula may Retreat into its burrow. The first line of defense is usually to escape quickly underground where predators cannot reach. Threat posture. If cornered, the tarantula raises its front legs and exposes its fangs as a warning display. Succating hairs. Like many New World tarantulas, Afonopelma calcodes can flick tiny barbed hairs from their abdomen at a potential threat. These hairs can irritate the skin and eyes of predators and humans alike, causing discomfort. Bite. Biting is a last resort. Although their venom is not highly toxic to humans, generally comparable to a bee sting, the bite can be painful. Like all tarantulas, Afonopelma calcodes grows through a process called molting, where the spider sheds its old exoskeleton and forms a new, larger one. This process is critical to growth and can occur multiple times during the spider's life. Before molting, the tarantula becomes lethargic, stops eating, and may hide deeper in its burrow. The actual molting can take several hours, during which the spider is vulnerable to predators and injury. After molting, it takes a few days for the new exoskeleton to harden. Mating behavior in Afonopelma calcodes is influenced by seasonal changes, typically occurring during the warmer months. Mature males leave their burrows to search for females by following pheromone trails. Unlike females, males have longer legs and a smaller body to facilitate roaming. When a male finds a female's burrow, he performs a courtship ritual involving tapping and vibrating his legs to signal his presence. If the female is receptive, mating occurs at the entrance of her burrow. After mating, the female produces egg sacs containing dozens to hundreds of eggs. She guards the sac vigilantly until the spiderlings hatch and disperse. Female Afonopelma calcodes can live for up to 25 years, while males typically live much shorter lives, around 5 to 7 years, often dying shortly after mating. Because of their docile nature and attractive appearance, Afonopelma calcodes are popular in the exotic pet trade. They tend to tolerate handling better than many other tarantula species, although caution is still advised. In the wild, these tarantulas tend to avoid human contact and are non-aggressive and less provoked or handled roughly. Their bite is rare and usually only occurs if accidentally disturbed, such as by stepping on or grabbing the spider. One of the most special aspects of a Afonopelma calcode's behavior is its remarkable adaptation to desert conditions. Their burrowing behavior and nocturnal activity and slow metabolism help them survive where food and water can be scarce. They can survive long periods without food by slowing their bodily functions and conserving energy. 
The behavior of a Phonopelma calcodes reflects its specialized adaptations to a challenging desert environment. From its nocturnal hunting and deep burrows to its defensive tactics and long lifespan, this tarantula is a master of survival. For nature enthusiasts, arachnologists, and pet owners alike, the Arizona blonde tarantula offers a fascinating glimpse into the life of one of the desert's most intriguing creatures.